And he's like, the way niggas can think that money has anything to do with like power, like it's because it's one thing when you're an adult, bro. But when you got kids, and anytime them niggas make a valid point, your only excuse is I pay the bills, dog. You don't have a fucking choice to pay the bills. Niggas say that shit as if they're like they're choosing. Like nigga, I don't have to do this. You have to pay the bills, or you're gonna be fucking homeless. Like what the fuck? And I'm not saying don't respect people in your household, bro. But it's like dog. If your only excuse to your kids making a valid point is I pay the bills, you're not making a fucking, you're not making shit. Like, that's like niggas saying, okay, but I'm richer than you. Okay, but that don't excuse what the fuck you did. You're just saying you got more money. The numbers in your bank account and the dollars in your wallet do not dictate whether what you did was morally correct or not. It has nothing to do with that at all. Straight up And it, it, it be blowing me when like parents be thinking that they can just Use the fact that they pay bills As an excuse If you gave me your bank account I would do the same thing It's not fucking hard to have shit on auto pay And get in your car, drive to the store, get groceries I'm not excusing What parents be doing for us But dog There's certain situations where The parents are fucking wrong I don't give a fuck about what you Putting a roof over my head, nigga. You live here. You have to put it over my head if I'm your child. Unless you put me up for adoption and what you could have did that years ago. Niggas didn't ask to be here. But it's like when your only argument is just your bread. You didn't make a fucking point, dog. That shit is so lame. And it's just it, it, it's frustrating because. The niggas who be getting the worst end of the stick is niggas that speak up for themselves. That's what happened with me. I got kicked out the house my senior year and had to reclassify. I was graduating 2023. I got kicked out the house my senior year. And I was homeless for a year. Moved downtown to West Side. And a homeless shelter. I seen something on social media where it was like, when you got wisdom, you sacrifice happiness or some shit. Because it's like, you know a lot. And I'm not a know it all, but I got enough wisdom to understand what the fuck I'm saying. Like, I can take responsibility. But I grew up in a household and was raised by a woman who... Most of her points, when she made them, had to do with what she does in the house. And what I'm telling y'all is... Don't be scared to speak up for yourself, bro. Because let's say your consequence is punishment. No matter what it is. Sometimes, just be quiet and then speak your point in a different spot. But I feel like for me, bro, I've always taken on the role of speaking up for myself. Always. And a lot of niggas would always try to be like, yo, twin, just chill. Nah. Because... I grew up with motherfuckers trying to roll over me. I grew up with niggas thinking that because I was short, I was a bitch. Like, my whole lifetime. I know, bro, I know how many times I go to the cafeteria when I'm at, when I'm in college and niggas just get in front of me. The reason I don't say nothing is because I know where I am. I'm not in familiar territory. It's not the east side of Atlanta. I'm in Statesboro. Like, I can't trip how I would here. Why? Because I'm going to get kicked out. I'm going to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. My ass too fat. He's going to take my butt. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm good on that. But it's like... The fact that... A lot of my... A lot of the times that I got in trouble... Always had to do with me speaking up for myself. And niggas thinking that I was the one tripping. I'm the one tripping. And I'm the one vouching for myself. That's fucking stupid. It don't make sense. And I will I will never respect nobody that thinks that money dictates what's right and what's wrong. It'll never be like that, bro. At all. Like, I, I, I'll be damned if I ever use money as an excuse to get away with shit I wouldn't do when I'm broke. Like, that's so stupid, bro. And it's like, 
if you really want to know, if you really want to know the character of somebody, give him some power. Give that nigga some money. Give him a lot of money. See how that nigga act. See how we treat a nigga that was just in the same position as him. You gonna see niggas real character, bro. Dead ass. Like, that shit, that shit'll never, that shit'll never cross my mind, bro. And it's like, growing up with my grandma, I realized what power can make somebody do. Because my grandma used to be broke. She ain't come from no money. But when she got money and she got kids, she used that to do what she wasn't able to do. Because when my grandma was a child, she was in the same position I'm in. The difference is, I got the nuts to speak up. I wasn't raised by my dad. 